We're in Backup Exec 2012. I'm going to show you how to get into the job log and job history from previous backups. Go ahead and open the program, click on the back and Backup and Restore tab, go down to Jobs and then Job History. And find the job you would like to review and double click on it. And now we see that particular job. You can scroll through the different histories at the top here. You can also expand or collapse the uh, information. It's easier if you expand it all so you can scroll through it. This is the job log, and then after that we'll take a look at the job history. So the job log, if you scroll through, gives certain information such as the name of the computer, the job log file where it exists, the type of job, was it a backup, was it a restore, that kind of thing. Shows the media used, if you use more than one piece of media such as multiple tapes or multiple drives. We scroll down, we can see that the job was to append to media. Scroll through, it says a little bit more information, the path to the files that were backed up. And then we see the verification also. At the very bottom, it says that it was successful. Click on job history, and again we can expand or collapse all. See a little bit more detail about the exact path of the, the different things that are on the server itself regardless of whether or not we backed it up. So you can see that this particular one was the E drive. There is an E drive but that we skipped it. And there is an F drive but we skipped that as well. So you also get into different types of application server backups such as Microsoft SQL Server. It'll tell us if it backed that up. Hyper-V, it also does Exchange and Archiving as well. And here's the system state. Did not back that up that particular time. We did back up something from the C drive, which is why you see the byte count and the directory that was backed up. And then we see the verification, just as we did in the job log. When you're done, you can save this file to your hard drive, or you can print it. You can also find uh, specific things as well. Only expanded sections of the job will be searched. To allow a search of the entire job log, click Expand All before searching. And then you can go ahead and choose to not see that again. And here's, just go ahead and choose a keyword, and uh, we'll type in the word archive. And since it doesn't see anything, the word archive, it doesn't exist, so it's not there. We'll type the word backup. And you can see there's lots of the word backup. And when you're done, you can go ahead and close that, and then close there.